I'm going to take a moment to talk about compromise because compromise is so important but it has such a negative connotation and that, that connotation is uh, that by compromising you're giving up what's best for you uh, and you're, you're conceding defeat to someone else but that's not the case. Compromise is needed to make, um, make things happen. Can you imagine if we lived in a society as, as Americans where we had political parties that only thought of themselves and, and, and their own best interest? I mean, we, we might have ended up spending, you know, billions of dollars and who knows how much time, uh, you know, taxpayers' dollars on representatives that get very little done. Thankfully, that's, that's not the case. Now, specifically in the instance of the game we're looking at today, the opposite, the, the, the enemy of compromise is pride and selfishness. And you're going to want to be as prideful and selfish in this game as you possibly can without refusing to budge. Because if you don't budge, if you don't compromise, you're going to lose the game. But also, if you don't budge, you can definitely hurt the people that you're compromising with. We're looking at the little negotiation game called Tomb Trader. Uh, released by Level 99 Games. It's designed by Asher Stuhlman and illustrated by Shaz Young. And in this game, players are thrust into uh, a, one of two different tombs. And in these tombs, they have to take time to negotiate. There's all this treasure uh, just laid out before them, but Abu touched something other than the magic lamp and the Cave of Wonders is collapsing. Uh, which is an incorrect analogy because this game is definitely themed after Indiana Jones, uh, as is evident by the uh, the art and the... Uh, the illustrations in the game. Uh, the point is, you're in this room, there's treasure in front of you, you have 60 seconds to split it up between whoever's in that room with you. If you can't come to a deal and all the treasure's not divvied up within 60 seconds, the tomb collapses, you guys walk out of there with uh, lucky to have your lives. The game is played in a series of seven rounds, and each of these rounds, the tombs, there's two separate tombs. Uh, you place treasures in the inner tomb and the outer tomb. It's uh, just on either side of this card. After taking a look at the loot, each player looks at their, uh, they've got cards that say inner or outer, and they decide which, uh, which pile of loot they want to go after. So they make their selection. Once everyone's decided, they flip the card and simultaneously show which of the two tombs they're, they're, they're going to be entering into. Once they get into those tombs, uh, so say the inner tomb, uh, there's two players that decided they wanted to go to the inner tomb. They have 60 seconds to split up the, tomb, the treasure that's in their location. If they can't come to a deal, nobody, if they can't come to a deal, then the treasure goes to no one and they walk out of that, that round empty handed. Then you flip over to the next tomb. Any remaining, play, remaining players that decided to go there has the same 60 seconds to negotiate, come up with a deal. And uh, if there's nothing done there, if there's no deal made, the round ends with nobody getting any treasure or with everybody getting no treasure. And you do this for seven rounds. Uh, each player also has a specific character. Now this character, uh, basically all it does is it says, you know, you get bonuses for these specific items, but the character is hidden. All the treasure cards have a picture of which character benefits from it. So there's this, this deduction of trying to figure out, okay, you know, he's been going into the chamber that has all of the Indiana Jones type characters uh, bonuses. So maybe you can use that in your negotiating. Each player also has three chips that they start the game with. These chips are used, uh, they're just one victory point. You can use them in the bargaining because there's, there's bad treasure in the, in the tombs. You could have a snake bite, there could be um, uh, cursed jars, and you know, somebody has to take it. So to sweeten the pot, say, look, you take the cursed jar, I'll give you one of, these, one of my coins. You know, you've, you've got that small amount of time to make that deal. Now that's pretty much it, that's the gameplay. It plays really quickly, we're talking 15 to 30 minutes maybe. And it is negotiation at its purest. And it's really cool to see a negotiating game uh, in the filler category. Now, this is not a game that lasts, you know, an hour or two. This is a game that you can pull out, teach, and play in a matter of 30 minutes. But it's so pure in the negotiation aspect. You have to deal with other players. And if you're the guy that's, you know, making, you know, refuses to budge, you're stubborn, you want all the treasure in the tomb, people are going to try hard to avoid you. And also, you're going to lose. Um, because if the tomb keeps collapsing on you, you're letting everyone else in the other tomb run away with the game. You know, you, you have to compromise, and if you don't compromise, this honestly, this isn't the game for you if you're not willing to do that. Obviously, you have to be comfortable arguing and, and trying to get the best deal and do what, what most makes sense for you, 
Uh, but you also have to keep in mind the other players because they're the ones that can ultimately determine your fate. That's a, it's a small little box game. It's mo uh, primarily just cards uh, and a few tokens. It would benefit with a few more components. And this is well, one of the bigger issues that I have with the game is that, you know, there's the 60 seconds some of the cards require you to flip coins. Um, and, you know, you got to keep track of the round. There's no round, round uh, marker. There's no timer. And there's no coin that you flip. All that you have to be, you know, you have to provide yourself, which isn't hard. Uh, all these things can be found in just about any any household. Uh, that being said, it's it's kind of a slight annoyance on what otherwise would be, um, you know, just a stellar game. And it, 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 it still is a stellar game. Absolutely love this game and the fact that you have to negotiate and, and just the way that it's put together. The art design is really cool. It's, um, it's sort of this Indiana Jones-esque uh, art. Uh, obviously, it's Indiana Jones themed. I mean, they can't call it that, and they can't call it Tomb Raider. So you've got Tomb Trader, and uh, and that's honestly, it looks great, with the exception of the cards that you use to determine which tomb you're going to go into. Because though the art on those cards, and this this is the same problem that Ink and Gold had with the uh, uh, coming or going cards, um, is that they look incredibly similar. And not only do the faces look similar, but the backs look really similar too. So you have to be really careful which card you're placing down to make sure you're in the correct tomb that you want to be, as well as make sure that you're putting it face down so that other players don't see that ahead of time. Uh, the other thing is that the player count has to be uh, three or above. It's got to be, I think it's three to six players is what it is. It plays okay at three. It's, it's an okay game. It's not great. Great game at four and five, and I haven't had a chance to play it at six. I imagine it would be just as good. But you're not going to be playing this two-player. It wouldn't make sense to play, play it two-player. And three-player, there's just too much chance of someone going into a tomb alone. And when that happens, they just automatically get half the treasure there. Um, and yeah, it almost becomes a rock, paper, scissor because there's there's just a really good chance of you getting in there alone and not having to split the treasure. And you know, no one benefits from that. The, the tomb won't collapse on you. Everything works out really well. It's a smooth game, plays well, it's unique, easy to teach, easy to learn, and exciting. I mean, it, you... The time, 60 seconds may seem like a long time, uh, but if you're in a tomb, even if there's only two of you, and you reach that 30 second mark and you still haven't come to a deal, that, those next 30 seconds are gonna go quick. And if you do not come up with a deal, that's it. No points. You could be on the verge of getting something you really need and lose it because uh, you weren't willing to give something up. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Thanks.